1.9 green supply chain hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the module on green supply chain when, when we talk about green when we talk about a green supply chain what's it that comes to our mind we look at we look at why do we go green is it that because the customers want it is it a PR exercise is it a CSR customer exercise that we are trying to do for our organization or is it really something that adds value to our organization is there a real need to go green or is it because it is the right thing to do is green embedded in your vision of your organization is it something that your organization really cares about why does your organization exist of course the first thing that comes to our mind is to make money to make a profit but beyond that do businesses have a real commitment to to doing sustainable business within within the framework of of what is laid down is green really part of your vision in your organization and if green really is part of your vision and mission of your organization then what is it that within supply chains you can do to ensure that your supply chain strategy is aligned to this sustainable green vision or mission that your organization has my organization is committed to lowering carbon footprint if my vision talks about low carbon resource efficiency then what is that strategy within logistics that is required so that I can actually implement this vision or mission is my logistics focused on using fuel efficient vehicles is my warehousing recycling the cartons that are being used for transporting from place A to place B so I have a vision I have a vision of this green economy improvement of human well-being reduction of environmental risk low carbon now this vision then goes down into the mission of my organization and which talks about optimization of my resources it talks about maximizing the economic benefits and then do I have strategies in place within my supply chain do I have these type of strategies in place which actually support which actually look at the mission and which look at the vision and actually support these strategies whether it is in my procurement whether it's in my warehousing whether it's in my logistics what is it that I'm really doing to enhance sustainability to drive down carbon footprint otherwise it's just a lip service so as you can look do I have the metrics and the measurements in place for a efficient green supply chain do I have a measurement in place just not within me but with my suppliers how do I measure my suppliers on what parameters is it only cost is it only quality is it only delivery or is it also sustainability is it also ethics is it also anything else related to the vision and the mission which we saw on the previous slide so do I have the right metrics and the measurements in place do I have the right suppliers who really care about these things do I have them on board so do I have the right partnerships with my service providers um, my uh, freight forwarders who actually move my material from place a to place b do they are in sync with my with my green strategy do i have partner development which is in sync with my strategy do i have them aligned to my needs do they understand what is really required by my organization because i have a lot of service providers who are not part of my organization who are my who are my suppliers or my service providers and do I have a sustainability risk mitigation strategy in place if I have these basics at the foundation and then am I able to build 
on these factors, am I able to build on these factors, then have an efficient green supply chain? And how important is it for me to have an efficient green supply chain within my organization? So the heart, if you see a green supply chain management here, your strategies are actually built around this green supply chain management. Whether it's a Unilever that is focused on reducing the carbon footprint and finding that it's not just them, that not just the manufacturers, not just their suppliers, but it's also the consumers who add to this effect or this impact. Then can I work with not just my suppliers and not just my service providers, but can I also work with my customers? Can I also enhance their understanding so that throughout the supply chain, I'm able to implement green strategies. Do I do green sourcing? Does my procurement department focus? Is it one of their key performance indicators where they are charged with doing green sourcing? Do they look at the aspects of green and how important it is when they are looking at their sourcing strategies? Do I have good robust manufacturing processes in place that enhance my green strategy? Do I use or reuse my packaging once it goes from me to my distributor? Can I bring it back? Can I repack in the same carton? Is that something that you do within your organization? Do I use fuel efficient vehicles? Can I use alternate fuel vehicles for transporting from one place to another? If I have a lot of reverse logistics processes, a lot of material coming back from, from my customers, from my supply, from my consumers. If I have that, do I have reverse logistics processes that look at green as one of the parameters? So if I have a core strategy of green supply chain management, which of course is aided by my vision and by mission, then I need to have a robust supply chain strategy within all gamut of my supply chain, as you see here, which is procurement, which is manufacturing, which is operations, which is transportation, which is warehousing, all of these different functions within my supply chain, at the core lies this green supply chain management strategy. So here you're seeing on the sourcing side, if I have a green sourcing strategy, if I have a green sourcing strategy and my suppliers are the one who actually deliver these products to me, how am I doing in terms of using less energy? How am I putting KPIs in place for my supplier? How am I giving them a target to reduce their energy consumption? Am I using less energy? Am I using less expendable packaging? Do I need to use packaging that can be reused again and again? Am I following transportation? Am I doing a full truck load or am I doing a less than truck load? And if I am doing a full truck load, how does that impact the carbon footprint coming into my factory? Am I using material that is safe or am I using a lot of material within the plastics which is not going to be good for the environment? Am I using reusable material that can be enhancing my sourcing which is more sustainable? Am I using the right level and the right amount of water, which is a scarce resource, by the way, in a lot of countries? So how do I build a sustainable sourcing plan? And when I'm building a sustainable sourcing plan, these are just some of the indicators that you see here, which go into a sustainable sourcing plan. And there will be many, many more indicators like these, which go into your sustainable sourcing. And then you develop a sustainable sourcing. Now. This is just an example of a sustainable sourcing and then you have a sustainable transportation and then you have a sustainable warehousing and these are different concepts within your supply chain that you would develop at the core a sustainable sourcing or a sustainable transportation and then build your sustainable sourcing or transportation module around it. And here you see the story behind one example of Apple and we spoke a little bit earlier about Unilever and here it's about Apple and how they map their environmental footprint. So you see the value chain here 
as you can see the value chain here you have a total footprint which comes of course a lot a lot from their manufacturing units which is constituting 61 percent of their footprint and then of course in the transportation again you can see another major contributor is people like us who use their products so you have 61 percent in manufacturing and you have a 30 percent in people like us who use their products and then who recycle them and then make into a different product now how can i reduce the impact at manufacturing how can i reduce the impact when it comes to product use how can i recycle better how do i educate my customers because all of us all of us are part of a value chain thank you for listening thank you so much